Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Sephirot channel. May the grace and peace of the Most High rest abundantly upon each of you, filling your hearts and minds with tranquility and hope. This moment is more than just reading words or watching a video, it is an invitation to embark on a spiritual journey, a path you have been called to since time unknown. I urge you to prepare yourselves, for what I am about to share is not for everyone. Perhaps this may sound peculiar or even presumptuous, but hear me out, your presence here is not by accident. Many have eyes yet do not see, and ears yet do not hear. If you have made it this far, something greater has guided you. In God's universe, there are no coincidences, everything is connected with divine precision, every movement, every flutter of a wing, every breath of the soul. So, dear ones, I invite you to still your mind and open your heart. Something powerful, something extraordinary, is about to be revealed. This knowledge will not merely inform you, but transform the way you see life, your purpose, and your destiny. And remember, transformation is seldom comfortable, but it is absolutely essential for those who seek to live a meaningful life, aligned with the purpose our Creator has set for each of us. Many of you, amid the noise of life, have heard a subtle calling. It is not a shout, not a forceful command. Rather, it is a gentle whisper, an intimate sense that resonates deep within, something telling you there is more, that life is not just what we perceive with our physical eyes. We call these individuals the chosen. Not because they are superior, but because they have been summoned to a specific mission, a divine responsibility that transcends personal desires. The chosen ones are those who, even in the face of uncertainty and pain, find meaning and direction. They do not claim to have all the answers, they are simply those who remain in pursuit. The journey of the chosen is not one of worldly glory or instant recognition, rather, it is often a solitary road, marked by trials that may seem insurmountable. But, my brothers and sisters, understand this, each of these trials is a tool of God, used to shape and refine the character of His chosen. Scripture teaches us that just as gold is purified by fire, the heart of the chosen is forged by trials. Pain, loss, even moments of deep loneliness are not punishments but opportunities to grow in faith, love, and wisdom. They are instruments that remind us we are here for a purpose far greater than ourselves. Have you ever asked yourself what your purpose is in this vast universe? It's not an easy question, I know. From the moment we are born, we are bombarded with expectations and pressures that distract us from what truly matters. We live in a world that values having more than being, that confuses success with the accumulation of material wealth. But for those who are chosen, there is an inner voice that continually calls, guiding them back to the true path, to a purpose that cannot be measured by riches or fame, but by the impact one has on the hearts of others. Purpose blossoms from within. It is a seed planted in the heart of every one of us, but it must be cultivated with faith, courage, and self-discovery. And I tell you, do not expect this seed to reveal itself immediately. It is a gradual process, an unfolding that requires patience and surrender. When we begin to look inward, to recognize who we are with both our strengths and weaknesses, we begin to catch a glimpse of that purpose. This is an essential part of the journey, understanding that you do not have to be perfect to be chosen. In fact, it is through our imperfections that God reveals His glory. He does not call the qualified, He qualifies the called. Each of our weaknesses is an opportunity for divine power to manifest in our lives. Yet, as I said before, the path of the chosen is not an easy one. To be chosen means facing challenges that seem far greater than our strength. And it is precisely there that the beauty of the purpose is revealed. It is not about trusting our own abilities, but relying on the power of God. The journey of the chosen is defined by trusting in the unseen, by a faith that compels us to move forward even when we cannot see the road ahead. How often have we asked ourselves, why is this happening to me? 
How often have we looked at our struggles and felt abandoned, as if the burden were too heavy? But know this, beloved, each of those moments is an invitation to draw nearer to God. Every trial is an opportunity for growth, a chance to become stronger and wiser. It is not the moments of ease that define us, but how we respond when faced with adversity. God does not place obstacles in our path to discourage us, but to strengthen us. Like a potter shaping clay, molding and remolding until it becomes a masterpiece, every pain, every loss, every triumph is part of that process. All of this prepares us for something far greater than we could ever imagine. Within each of us lies a power we often fail to recognize. God has planted a flame within our hearts, a light that does not extinguish, even in the darkest of nights. And it is this light that guides us when the way seems uncertain. This power awakens when we align ourselves with the divine purpose, when we begin to live not for ourselves, but for what we have been called to do. When we move in faith, when we step forward without knowing what lies ahead, something wonderful happens. Synchronicities begin to appear. Moments that seem like coincidences are, in fact, the universe conspiring on our behalf. People cross our paths at just the right time, opportunities arise when least expected. These are signs that we are aligned with God's plan, that we are exactly where we need to be. These synchronicities are not merely blessings but confirmations, God's way of saying, I am with you, keep going. Recognizing these moments is essential for those who wish to live according to the divine purpose. We must keep our hearts and minds open to perceive these signs and act upon them. Once that inner power is activated, the chosen begin to manifest gifts that have long been dormant. Some have the gift of words, others of healing, others of leadership or empathy. These gifts are given by God and must be used to serve, to build, to transform the world around us. But with great power comes great responsibility. The chosen are called to use their gifts not for their own glory, but for the glory of God. This power must not be used to fulfill selfish desires or seek personal recognition. It exists to serve, to edify, to inspire. True wisdom lies in serving, in placing the talents we have been given at the service of a greater good. To wield this inner power with wisdom means knowing when to act and when to wait. It means consulting the heart, seeking divine guidance before making decisions. It means understanding that every action we take impacts not only our lives, but the lives of those around us. The chosen are those who understand that their mission goes beyond themselves. They live to serve, to bring light where there is darkness, hope where there is despair. It is not about grand heroic gestures, but small acts of kindness that, together, transform the world. Each of us is like a candle, and as we light the flame in others, the light multiplies. It is both a privilege and a burden to be an agent of transformation. A privilege because we have been chosen for something greater than ourselves, and a burden because we must be willing to sacrifice, to face challenges that often seem overwhelming. But remember this, we are not alone. God is with us every step of the way, and He will never leave us without the strength needed to fulfill our mission. And let me tell you this, being chosen by God is not a solitary journey. Though we may feel alone at times, the truth is that there are others chosen all over the world. Each with their own story, their struggles, their victories. God does not call individuals alone, He unites hearts that resonate with the same frequency, forming a network of light, a community of faith. This movement is like a vast tapestry, each thread intertwined with another, forming something stronger and more beautiful. Sometimes we meet other chosen ones in unexpected moments, in seemingly random situations. These encounters are orchestrated by the divine plan. It is in these moments that the flame we carry unites with another's, and together, we create a brighter light that can illuminate even more of the world. God entrusts the chosen with the responsibility of bringing transformation not only to their own lives, but to all of humanity. 
In times of darkness, the chosen are the keepers of hope. In times of doubt, they bring clarity and direction. Thus, each of us, by fulfilling our purpose, contributes to a collective awakening, helping humanity to evolve spiritually. Trusting the process is one of the most profound lessons a chosen one can learn. Often, the path is not clear. Sometimes, the challenges seem too much, and it is difficult to understand the purpose of certain situations. In those moments, it is natural to feel uncertainty, but it is precisely then that our faith must be strongest. Trusting the process means believing that, even without seeing the entire road, God is guiding each of our steps. It means understanding that the divine purpose is not always revealed immediately, but that every detail, every experience, is part of a greater plan. When we trust the process, we surrender our doubts to God, knowing that His wisdom is infinite, far beyond our understanding. This trust allows us to face life's challenges, not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. When we change the question from why is this happening to me, to what is God teaching me through this, we begin to see our difficulties in a new light. We start to understand that the greatest growth often comes from our most painful moments. The chosen ones belong to a community. A community not united by blood ties or geographical boundaries, but by a common purpose, a shared mission. When we connect with other chosen ones, we find strength and inspiration. We can share our stories, our struggles, our victories, and in doing so, grow together. There is immense power when we come together for a greater cause. When we share our faith and purpose, we amplify our impact on the world. And this is what God desires, that each of us, living on our mission, inspires and encourages others to do the same. Now, dear ones, I invite you to take action. If this message has resonated in your heart, if you believe this is your moment, then leave a sign. Declare to the universe that you are ready to receive and live according to the divine purpose. Do not let this opportunity pass by. Each moment is precious, and each step brings us closer to what we are meant to be. Together, as a community of the chosen, we can transform the world, not by our own strength, but by the power of God within us. Each of us has a unique role to play, and when we come together, we become a powerful force for transformation and renewal. If this message spoke to your heart, if you feel ready to take the next step in your journey, leave your Amen. Share this message with others so that we may expand this network of light, faith, and purpose. May God guide and strengthen us with each step, and may we always be instruments of His peace and will. And now, in unity, let us pray together. May our souls connect with divine wisdom, and may we find in God the strength and direction to move forward. Lord, we humbly come before you, thanking you for choosing us, for guiding us, and for giving us such a grand mission. May your light be our guide, may your strength be our support, and may we, united, fulfill the purpose you have placed in our hearts. Amen.